come to standing in mountain pose at the front of your mat. With an inhale, raise the hands up and overhead. Exhale, bring the hands to Anjali Mudra at your heart. Once here, take a deep breath in, long, slow breath out. Begin to set an intention for your practice. This can be a single word, maybe it's an I am statement. Just maybe asking yourself what you need more of in this moment. And trusting whatever comes up. It could be something like, I am present. I am grateful. I'm just seeing it a few times in your head as you hold your hands to your heart. Breathing here and centering yourself. With an inhale, raise the arms up and overhead. Take a small standing back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Plant the hands. Step back, finding high plank. Exhale, chaturanga, push up, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Taking a moment in downward dog. Lift the tailbone just a little higher. Let's just pedal out the feet. Diving the heart down towards the tops of the thighs. Reaching through each fingertip. Continuing to straighten one leg and bend the other. Take tiny steps up to meet your hands, finding forward fold. Inhale, flat back, straight legs, hands at the shins. Tap the hands, inhale, rise. Standing back bend, exhale, hands, heart center, standing upright. Take one full breath here and come back to your intention. Inhale, raise the arms, standing back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Plant the hands, step back, chaturanga, Inhale, upward facing dog, flip the tops of your feet. Exhale, roll over the toes, downward facing dog. Walking up to meet your hands, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, tap the hands, reach up high, standing back bend. Exhale, hands heart center. One full breath, taking a moment to connect back to your intention. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, fold. Step it back. One push up here to upward facing dog. Downward facing dog when you're ready. One full breath here. And then small steps to the front of your space. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Tap the hands. Inhale, rise. Back bend, exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, rise, back bend, exhale, fold. Plant the hands, step it back. Lower down halfway, inhale, rise, push up, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Small steps up to your hands, forward fold, let everything go. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, straight legs. Tap the hands, inhale, rise, exhale, back bend. Hands to heart center, take a moment here. Coming back to your intention, inhale, arms up, back bend, exhale, fold. Plant the hands, step back, high plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Small steps up to the front of your mat. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, tap the hands. Inhale, rise. Standing back bend. Exhale, and jolly mudra, hands at your heart. Let's take two full breaths here. 
holding your intention right at your heart, holding your awareness at your breath. Shift onto the left foot, step right foot back, coming into low lunge. Sink into the hips, raise both arms. Exhale, lower right arm behind you, reaching for the ankle, finding a camel variation here. Left arm is extended, the bicep alongside the ear. Breathing here, the gaze is up towards the sky. Inhale, come out. Plant your right hand on the inside of the left foot. And then you just circle the left arm up and overhead, circling through the entire shoulder joint. Full circles here. Just exploring this mobility. Noticing where this movement is fluid and easy and maybe any areas where it's a little bit stiff or sore. Next time the arms behind you, inhale, rise, coming into revolved high lunge. Gaze comes behind you, arms are straight here, back leg is straight. Front knee is right over ankle. Inhale, hands heart center. Allow the right elbow to come to the outside of the left knee using this knee to elbow connection to pivot and rotate the chest up and out of the pose, deepening the twist. Inhale and wind forward. Reach the arms forward and up, coming into crescent lunge with the feet. Hover the chest right over the front thigh. Belly button's drawing into the spine, feel strong. Draw back the right arm, finding warrior two. Pivot out onto the back heel, making sure the back foot's in line with the back edge of your mat. Front toes pointing forward, knee over ankle. Slowly make your way into side angle pose. By leaning forward, reaching left fingertips far, and then exhale, lower the hand, left hand down, right arm high. Coming into a bind, reach the left arm up and under left thigh, and reach the right arm behind you, clasping the hands. Coming to your breath. Inhale, rise, straighten front leg, coming to reverse triangle pose. Allow the right hand to grasp the outside of the left hand, reaching over towards the right for a side body stretch. Inhale, hands come center. Exhale, rotate to the back of your space, this time allowing right foot to be in the front for low lunge. Inhale, raise the arms. Exhale, back bend, left hand comes to the left ankle, right arm reaches alongside the ear. Allow both hips to be facing forward here. Inhale, rise. Plant left hand on the inside of right foot. And begin to circle the right arm. The back knee is lifted up off the ground. The hips are heavy. Continue to circle the arm, just exploring here. The next time the arm's behind you, slowly lift to rise, finding revolved high lunge. Gaze is behind you. Arms are parallel with the ground, in line with the legs. Hands come to heart center. Allow the left elbow to come out to the outside of the right knee using that connection to pivot and open up the chest, deepening your twist. Breath is smooth and deep here. Inhale, center. Find crescent lunge legs on the ball of the back foot. Reach the arms forward and then hover the belly over the front thigh. Core is engaged here. Slowly come into warrior two by drawing left hand behind you as if you're drawing back an arrow. Spin out onto that back heel, pressing into the knife edge of the foot. Check in with the knee, make sure it's right over your ankle. Relax through the collarbones. Inhale, reach right fingertips forward. Lower the right hand down to the floor. Inhale, left arm high. For a bind on this side, Reach the right arm under the right leg. Reach the left arm behind you and clasp the right hand. Notice your breath. Notice how it feels to stay in this pose. 
and then with an inhale, straighten the front leg. Reach right arm up and overhead. Allow the left hand to grasp the right hand for side body stretch. Inhale, center, toes point forward, heels click in. Exhale, hands heart center as you sink down into horse pose. Allow the hips to be in line with the knees. Sink as low as you can go comfortably here. With an inhale, lift your right heel up and off the ground as if you were wearing a high-heeled shoe. Holding here, find your breath. Exhale, lower the foot. Inhale, raise left foot. Just the heel peeling up off the mat. Sink a little lower, and then inhale, rise. Hands come to heart. Allow the feet to come parallel to the edges of your mat. Exhale, forward fold. Allow the peace fingers to grasp the big toes, drawing the body up and down. Lift your tailbone high. Shine the thighs out behind you. Head, neck, shoulders, relax, face softens. And then walk both hands over towards the left foot. And then slowly walk the hands over towards the right foot. Inhale, center. Hands come to the front of your space. Step left foot back, lower down to your belly. Press the tops of the feet into your mat. Place the hands under your shoulders. Prepare for cobra pose with an inhale, rise. Exhale, lower. Inhale, rise. Holding for one full breath. A little bit fuller expression here. Exhale, lower. Bending the knees, preparing for bow pose. Clasp the ankles, foreheads at the mat. And with an inhale, we're gonna press the feet up and out, allowing the body to peel up off the ground. You to choose how deep you go in the pose, despite determining how far you kick back the legs. Exhale, lower. And with an inhale, let's do it one more time. This time holding just a little bit longer. Seeing if you can go just in the expression, just a little bit fuller. Exhale, come on down. Hands under the shoulders, knees together. Exhale back for child's pose. Take a moment here, rounding the spine. Linear body, counterbalance, the back bends. See if you can deepen the breath so that you feel the breath stretching the upper back the back of the rib cage. With an inhale, come to tabletop pose. Reach right leg up and forward, finding pigeon position. Bending at the knee, allowing the right leg to be in line with the front edge of your mat. Left leg is long, extended behind you. Either come down to your forearms, or if you'd like to make a little pillow with your hands, resting your forehead. See if you can sneak the left hip just a little bit up closer towards the right heel. Allowing yourself just to be fully aware of what you're experiencing in this moment. How does it feel for your body to be in this pose? Inhale, slowly rise. Sit back onto your right hip, and then come forward, finding pigeon on the left side, switching to the back edge of your mat. Left leg bends at the knee, shin is parallel with the front edge of your mat, right leg extends long behind you. Walking the body forward, either come down onto the forearms, or maybe it's comfortable for you to rest the forehead on your mat. 
Making sure we're in proper position here. See if you can draw the right hip bone a little closer towards the left hip. Just taking a moment, meditation here, really embodying what it feels like to be here in this moment, physically, spiritually, mentally. Inhale, slowly rise. We're gonna to come to a cross-legged position facing the center of your mat. Maybe you come to half lotus, full lotus. Maybe it's comfortable to kneel here, or sit on the edge of a pillow. Just make sure your body's relaxed. We're gonna to end today's practice with a short meditation. So when you're ready, closing your eyes. Allow the hands just to rest gently on the knees. Check in with the spine. Make sure it's tall, make sure you're sitting upright. Upright yet relaxed. I'm just beginning to notice your breath. Maybe tuning in to the gentle rise and fall on your chest. Maybe noticing other areas that you feel the breath in your body. Maybe at the throat, the nose. Maybe all the way down into your belly. It's fully aware when you're inhaling, fully aware when you're exhaling. Begin to imagine a body of water, crystal clear lake. And it's so still, it's like a mirror, and you look into it. And then you're going to imagine a flat rock being dropped into the deepest part of this lake. And the flat rock hits the water, sends ripples out onto the surface. And then it slowly sways back and forth moving slowly through the water as it descends to the bottom. And just when the rock finally meets the bottom of the lake, you just watch it settling there, resting at the bottom in stillness. Feeling your mind as it settles further into stillness.
will slowly begin to come back to your breath. Maybe taking a deeper than usual inhale and a long, slow exhale. Just taking a moment to notice the effects of your practice today, physically, mentally, emotionally. With your next inhale, raise the arms up and overhead, palms together, exhale the hands down the center of your body, and bow your head at your heart. Just taking a moment for gratitude and reverence for the practice, this tradition. Namaste.